Uh. All right, let's just get to it. Here are the bookmarks for the week, aka what's been keeping me sane. <clears throat> Call of Duty Modern Warfare released a beta unleashing the streamers for massive promotion until the game actually releases. The way these smaller maps were designed, replicating them for a paintball arena seems very possible for cool promotion options. Imagine Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3v3 in real life. Paint it up! <coughs> The 32v32 mode is super fun in the most chaotic mess ever so far. Personally, I lack the skill to locate targets before they locate me. Once I train my eyes, I'd love to return to this game more often. Until then, a player like me getting shot three steps from spawn gets tiring fast. At least they have a replay that some shooters do lack. So I'm not in the dark as to how I died, or from where. Card slingers and face punchers of Hearthstone got to delve into the tombs of terror, facing off against the plague lords of madness and murlocs and their hordes. Normally, we don't focus on things real, but this week refreshed my dwindling hope in humanity. The young and the frustrated protest for the, well, the world, and it's growing. Many streets in New York were barely visible between the bodies and signs of protesters. On the other side of the continent, near Area 51, the date has arrived! The greatest opportunity for people to be dumb idiots and possibly the world record for most arrested and what occurred was a relatively civil and respectful party slash concert. And so the storming of Area 51 became alien stock. September 21st. Batman Day! Celebrated every year on the third Saturday of September, this year being the 80th anniversary of the character and the internet celebrated. Epic's cryptic Batman teaser unloaded six Batman titles, the Arkham Collection, and the Lego titles to users of their gaming hub for free. Fortnite drops Gotham City on the map, where players can become their own caped crusaders, or purchase Catwoman herself, or Batman, to drop in and join the fray. And that's not all. Going full send! Joining the festivities near Area 51 with an alien skin harvesting tool and some cringier emotes. That closes this week's bookmark in What's Entertaining People. Looking ahead, Hearthstone Tombs of Terror opens the third chapter in its saga. Ori in the Blind Forest releases for the Switch. Nintendo tries to dip into that sweet, sweet phone real estate with Mario Kart Tour. Uh, Harvest Moon looks to simplify its format and maybe simplify its OCD triggers with Harvest Moon Mad Dash. And with that, there is a gripe with Batman and Fortnite, so I'll use this as a warm-up for a video series to come. Batman and Fortnite is stupid. I guess this celebrates Batman by dragging him and his ideals to the mud. The Batman we all respect has two rules, no guns, no killing. The tools provided in Fortnite are almost exclusively gun-focused. Yeah, yeah, he's used guns and killed before. I said the one we respect. Then, to those shadier times, ignoring that Golden Age proto-Batman, the viewer really had to look at the situation in which he broke his rules. Fortnite provides little in terms of situation or alternative. There used to be a great many alternatives to firearms to theme up your Batman. Impulse grenades send foes flying for that potential damage. Chiller grenades troll your opponents to slide off mountains or into the storm. But hey, 
At least they added the battering that you might only get five of, or 10 if you're lucky. More if you're crazy determined that only deal 50 damage per fling. So yeah, good luck using that pickaxe in this universe, easily a product of Batmite trying yet again to put Batman in an uncharacteristic situation. Maybe trying to get Fortnite canceled? Who knows? It's 20 bucks I won't be spending because I actually don't have that to spend. Um, so, unless you have a utility belt full of stink grenades, shield bubbles, batterings, and whatnot, all those running around in bat capes and cowl, you're nothing but dudes in hockey pads. But, to be fair, to be fair, Batman in Fortnite is awesome. Look, Fortnite statuses are eliminated. So this little guy takes the eliminated back to the lobby. It's all a simulation, people. No one dies. So it can be said that while Batman may be opposed to using a gun to end a person, he would not be opposed to using a similar tool to teleport another to a holding cell of sorts. Like the lobby. The models for Batman and Catwoman are clean. I'd be excited to drop the $20 for the Batman package if purely for the effort the artist put in. The designs for Batman could satisfy any who grew up with the animated series with a more armored touch. And includes the Chris Nolan Batman, played it as it is, though pretty sure able to turn his head backing out of a driveway. They included the iconic Batarangs and classic method of mobility. The Batarangs were well thought out as they do require some aim, but then Batman skill takes over to deliver the blow. They do not deal a ton of damage, but when was Batman ever about the lethal factor? The grapnel... Grapnel? Grapnel? The grapnel is fun to use and super useful, more so than the standard plunger-based grapple gun, which OpenOffice will flag as incorrect, as it targets farther surfaces and deploys your character into glide mode via bat cape, of which is amazingly modeled and animated. I mean, just check out those Airstream details. This update brought many players back if only for Gamer 3. But when they left, it was a net positive. So, dying or surviving? This needs to finish, and I need to work on the next video. So, on that, we're thinking of pressing on into either Spyro or Donkey Kong. Hope to see you next week. Signing off.